Welcome to the Tinkercad Mega Rocket Training. Click Create New Design. Of course, when it's ready, hit Design Properties, and let's put Rocket with our initials so we can keep track of it. Once again, I'm going to remind you to keep an alert on the little saving option because you don't want to lose your work. Uh, you need to look for what a rocket would be made of. I'm going to choose to make my rocket out of a cylinder. Like I've shown you other days, if you bring the ruler tool and set it on your cylinder you can then change the height so I'm gonna make mine 30 high and I'm gonna make it uh, 10 for the diameter uh, on both sides so there I've got a rocket base this shouldn't be anything that surprises you remember we can move it to where we want with the arrow keys once you're done with the ruler click the X to get rid of it the next step is to pick what kind of nose cone you want to make. There are several cool options, plus you could come up with a custom idea. I don't want to just drop it anywhere though. I want to drop it on top. So I'm going to do the work plane tool and click on top to make it. Remember the work plane tool is hit by or done by hitting W and then you hit W and click anywhere else to shut it off. And I'm going to drop this on top now. And then remember I made it 10 by 10. I am going to hold down shift and grab the handle until this says 10 by 10 and then it is the exact right size it's on the work plane and I can just use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move it in the next step of course is to get rid of our work plane and then we need to make fins for our rocket I'm gonna use the paraboloid but I want the paraboloid to be uh, flat so watch this sweet trick for aligning something on a round shape I want to set my work plane for right here so it's up and down. So I've got my work plane so I can set something on the side of the rocket. And then I'm going to pick my shape. And like I said, I'm going to do this crazy paraboloid. And because I've got my work plane right there, that's going to be able to be used as a fin. To make it look like a fin, though, I've got to make it real skinny. So there you can see I have just turned a round paraboloid into what I want to be my fin. Notice I'm not using the corners, I'm using the middle tools to shrink it down and get my fin to the level that I want it to be. When I've got my cool fin the way I like it, which you guys are making your own, so this can be any way you want it, then I delete that cube that I used for a moment, I hit W and get rid of that work plane, and now I go back to my little part and I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge them into place and boom I have got a fin that I can now line up remember if you don't like uh, how much it's moving you can adjust your grid grid so that you got it at the perfect amount uh, for where you want use that little up and down arrow to adjust it and BAM I'm gonna do that same technique quickly uh, with one of my pyramids I wanna put a fin on this side right now so I'm gonna set my work plane for that side of my cube that I'm gonna get rid of in a minute bring out my pyramid tool I am gonna shrink it so it's skinny zoom in make it smaller and boom I have got a fin that I'm reasonably happy with that I can now use the arrow keys to move into place but before I do that I'm gonna shut off my work plane and I'm gonna delete that cube so now I can just nudge him over to where I want him to be just like that you can get your uh, rocket the way you want them to be uh, do make sure you are patient on the changes yesterday we had a lot of people lose their work because we were working way too fast and I just hate to see things disappear on you you probably don't want different fins but I just wanted to show you different options I'm gonna show you another cool thing if I group this and raise it up notice the color all becomes similar and then there is a cool tool under shape generators right here and if you drop this tool in and then adjust these settings I don't know the exact settings for changes but you can see here I've randomized and changed the cells and I've especially changed the cell heights and added peaks and all of a sudden you have got something that you could flip over and it would be like the fire launching out of your rockets engine so just a neat idea to even make your design more incredible
making sure of course that when you're happy you change that color to something that uh, looks more flamish so have fun make your rocket as awesome as you can make sure you share with me what you did when you're finished and I hope you have fun designing your own awesome rocket Thank you.